Hello there and welcome to News Express, exclusively brought to you by Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper. It is the week starter edition and we'll be looking at the headlines this morning from Business AM. Top of the front page, Ajip runs into headwinds with Ijoy Ute over this regard of Nigeria's local content laws. And right below that, it's too much. Businesses cry out over high inflation, narrow depreciation, poor demand, high interest rates, poor power supply, a very volatile business environment. Now, that's on the front page now. Uh, other headlines here you can catch. A $30 billion fuel import receives flax. Uh, FSDN say equities set for pullback. And uh, emo hospitality can create 60% jobs. Catch this once on pages 28, 10 and uh, page 30. All right, let's bring in uh, Philip Isak by now. He's the publisher, Business AM, to join us for conversations. Uh, good morning, Mr. Philip. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. It's good to have you on the show. Now, give us a run through the headlines for the week. What we have done is, is to look at uh, uh, what uh, businesses uh, are, are complaining about. Uh, for instance, uh, it's been a, there's been a lot going on uh, since uh, COVID-19 uh, happened. But re- recall that before that time, uh, we've always had this pressure on the economy, you know, with the uh, government uh, almost going broke, you know, and uh, going out in search of loans to finance uh, some capital projects. You know, so the economy has been tight, and then recession has come in. Uh, 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 as, as a matter of fact, you know, so we are in recession. You know, but uh, the environment has been very tough. You know, so businesses are, are saying all this is too much for us. You know, and uh, uh, and then they are lifting out uh, a number of uh, things. And KPMG has come up with a, a very uh, wonderful report. You know, capturing the entire thing. What it, it describes the environment as volatile uh, business environment for for operations of uh, the, the organizations mm. you know and then uh, you find that uh, if you go inside you 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 find that uh, there is a special bills that a special bills that were introduced by the central bank and uh, uh, last week and we've seen how that has, has affected a lot of uh, things if you if you uh, fsdh saying uh, uh, analysts are saying that uh, there's going to be a pullback because we've had a bullish equities uh, run in, in, in for the past, uh, uh, you know, in November. Right. We, we, but they're saying that there's going to be a bullish, uh, uh, sorry, uh, there's going to be a pullback from that, mm-hmm. you know. But this special deal has affected different aspects of the market, the capital market, you know, the equities uh, market, it has affected the, uh, the, the the 16 income market, you can see that playing all over the place uh, in, in, in the report that we've done. You know, there's, there's also, again, I think, drawing attention to agriculture. You know, uh, this, this, this time we are focusing on, on uh, who, what uh, is, can, can seem to be very interesting, uh, which is a she nut. You know, we call it she nut, she nut, she nut butter, she, uh, uh, she nut, uh, she butter oil. You know, and uh, Nigeria's on top global competitive export advantage. Mm-hmm. Again, we are trying to draw attention to where Nigeria can begin to look to, you know, in the global commodities market for for foreign uh, for foreign exchange earnings, mm-hmm. you know, and to leave oil oil behind, uh, you know. So, so that's a, a run through of uh, uh, some of the issues that uh, we have taken up. Uh, this week. Mm. All right. Now, on page 12, uh, we have this headline, of course, from the equities market. Investors take guarded stance on equities over uncertainties from CBN special bills. And below that one, uh, we have uh, the guidelines permit, the new CBN guidelines permit uh, for hold calls and MMOs subsidiaries as defined entities. They are saying that MMOs are permitted to hold customer funds and then the new framework will promote Credible and strong payment system in Nigeria. Now, Mr. Philip, if I let you go, uh, tell us your uh, projection for this week uh, concerning the equities market. Uh, what analysts are saying is that uh, uh, you, you find you, you're going to have, uh, uh, for instance, FSD is talking about reversal, you know, uh, a pullback, you know, uh, a less bullish, uh, bullish uh, uh, market. We saw that uh, last week, you know, in. Uh, 
in the market was rescued almost uh, in the last minute of uh, our last day of the week. Mm. You know, so we 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 we're hearing that uh, you're going to have you're going to have a, a, a very calm market. You know. You, there's not going to be a foolishness, you know, in the in, in both the equities and the and, and the and the fixed income market. Mm. So so that that's what you you expected uh, we're expecting to see a uh, play out this week. But you never can tell you know, what, what what could happen. Uh, 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 the market could mm. try to be uh, top to top. We'll just wait and see how it kicks off today. Thank you so much, Mr. Philip Isapa, for your contribution. Thank you for having. Me. Philip Isakwa is the publisher of Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper. The Breakfast Connection continues in just a moment.